Sunshine uh, haze through northern and eastern Oklahoma. Uh, winds out of the north at around 10 to 15, but the upper airflow is conducive to bringing this chunk of smoke from Canada into the middle part of the country, and we get a little bit of it. We don't get a whole lot. Uh, thankfully, most of that, you know, more optically thick smoke stays up to the north, but there will be a little haze occasionally in the atmosphere, but sunshine will filter through, and highs today will still, we think, reach the lower 90s. Now, we're about to move into September, and I always tell you that September is a moving month. September is the month that things start to change from a temperature standpoint. On an average September, the first of average, you know, we're going to be around 90 by the end of the month. Daytime highs will be at 80 and morning lows in the 50s. But obviously, that's a 30-year average and things can and do change. For example, as we move into the first part of September, this time, we're going to be well above that normal high. We're going to be back into the mid and the upper 90s. And we'll have some heat indices that will start to come back at us for the second half of this weekend into early next week. So our high today, near 90 to 92. Here's the hurricane. Category uh, two still 105 mile per hour winds gusting still from 150 to 160 miles an hour uh, near Valdosta, Georgia, northern Florida. It's moving north northeast at about 18. I think it's going to speed up a little bit, maybe 20, 22 mile per hour clip there. And it continues to bring onshore flow. So the storm surge is continuing here. Uh, and then the backside of this, still really strong winds. And then here we've got from Savannah to Augusta, back to Macon. This is where there's going to be uh, lots and lots of heavy rainfall. And tropical storm force winds extend 175 miles away from that center. And then the hurricane storm force winds at about 25 to 30 miles away from that. Uh, so numerous tornadoes will be a possibility. Obviously, still destructive winds. Very close to the eye or the center of the circulation and storm surges continuing as I told you a couple of minutes ago uh, we are seeing lots of things on social media lots of video coming from the coastal areas uh, from Cedar Creek um, um, Keaton Beach Bonita Beach all of those areas I mean significant storm surge that that has been occurring with this storm and it's continuing to move to the north northeast our weather today 90 in Jane Grove, 92 Tulsa, 94 in McAllister, and 92 in Pawnee. There's no major changes over the next several days. Morning lows have been spectacular. We're going to start tomorrow morning in the 60s. High tomorrow of about 90. But look at the bottom of the panel here. The south wind returns tomorrow. And that southerly breeze starts to slowly increase the low-level moisture. Now, what does that mean? It means that the humidity values would be more notable through the afternoon, especially once we go into the second part of our weekend. So we go Saturday at 95, no major heat index. But Sunday's 97 is going to feel like 100 to 104. Labor Day's 98 is going to feel like 100 to 105. We're pretty close to a heat advisory criteria as we head into Monday. Now, there's a weak system that could be nearby Sunday night and Monday in southeastern Oklahoma. But by the middle of next week, we'll start to see a chance for some organized showers and storms near.